Got a head of fiery hair and a turbocharged backpack. The genius sisters use them like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Are you sure this won't hurt us? Sir, Mary, we need you to help us. It's a matter of national security. Oh, please. The national security excuse doesn't work on us anymore. Right. So what do you really want? The SSGA is experimenting with telekinetic combat. The ability to let super agents create weapons with our minds, baby. It will help us defeat the forces of evil. And more importantly, win us the grand prize and the design the coolest weapon win a trip to Fiji contest. But we're having problems with our telekinetic helmet design. What's the problem? We don't have a design. But help us, and you can have anything you want. Hmm. So, how is this a matter of national security again? A roller buggy, best time. Behold! The Teleka Helmet. It amplifies brainwaves one million times, enabling the user to move matter at will. Ow. It's too small. We need someone with a smaller head to test it. No way. He's not putting that dangerous helmet on his head. It could hurt my little mind. Okay. What, what do, do you want? want? We need a new game bot with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, two wireless controllers, and the uh, junkyard monster mashup video game. It's a matter of national security. Woohoo! Monsters are awesome! Okay, deal's a deal. Now just put on the helmet and test it so we can win that contest and go to Fiji. I'm not ready. Okay, now he's ready. Ow, it makes my head squeeze. Great. Now pick up those rocks and drop them on the dummies. Righto. Now stand back. We're such geniuses. We are going to feed you. We are going to feed you. It's not really much of a weapon, though, is it? <laughs> Now that's a weapon. Good work, Jenny. Now take the helmet off so we can win our prize. But making monsters with your mind is totally fun coolness. Kid, <laughs> somebody. Get that helmet off him! I'll get it off. Are you crazy? You might hurt the helmet. Until we can figure a way of getting the helmet off Johnny without ripping off his ears. <laughs> you just have to not create any more monsters. Got it, Johnny? He's <laughs> not getting it. I didn't mean to. I swear. I guess I just got monsters on the brain. It was the video game. You can't stop thinking about monsters. Huh? <laughs> Which means the helmet can't stop making monsters. Quick, get Johnny to a relaxing place where monsters will be the furthest thing from his mind. <laughs> ah, the Pork Belly Mountain, so calm, so peaceful. It sort of just clears the mind of monsters. Right, Jenny? Except for high-tension wire monsters! Can shoot lightning and her head is right for the city! 
Oopsies. It's no use. Daddy's become a monster's turner. We've got to get that helmet off. Ow! 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 Oh, you're gonna rip his head right off. Is that an option? General here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Seriously? Oh, right. Okay. We got monsters! Black! What? Pork Belly is being attacked by monsters. Any idea how this is gonna happen? No. What's in the crate? Nothing. Got it? Now, suit up and get downtown! We got monsters to fight! Okay, everyone in the elevator. Go, 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 shoot! Where are we going? It's a surprise, but it's very cool. And I think you're gonna like it, Johnny. Wow, we are going really far down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> surprise! Here's your new home! Say what? It's our top secret windowless concrete bunker, miles below the surface of the Earth, where you'll live out your days and never create another monster again. Wow! <laughs> this is really cozy. And look, you've got entertainment. A radio. Hey, cats. Downtown Pork Belly is being totally totaled by monsters. And nothing can save it! <laughs> Okay. Well, that's it. We're due. This is all my fault. Well, it's really all our fault, isn't it? No. no. Oh, okay, okay maybe. maybe. Uh, yeah. But mostly, it's that junkyard battle monster game. The way they battle each other is just way too much fun and violence for the dumb boy mind. Wait a minute. The video game. What if I created a super monster out of real weapons to destroy the other monsters? That could work. Or fail. But where are we gonna find real weapons in a secret military installation? You guys are kidding, right? Oh, yeah. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> But what if Johnny can't control this monster like the other monsters? No problem, because we're all going to control it together. What if this plan doesn't work? Oh, then we're all doomed together. Now hang on. Somebody please tell me that's a good guy! Please! Wow, it looks like we've got a cranky little monster to defeat. So let's crank up our monster! Get these guys. Be my guest, Fuzzy Buddy. I got this one. Okay, I don't have it. I stink at video games. Then I'll take it from here. There's too many of them. They're too powerful. Yeah, but now they're all wet. We're safe. We're safe from the monsters. And I gotta move out of this town. Yay! Yeah. Right. Johnny, you did it. But why are we here? You didn't even need us. Yes, we do. Quick, sit in the cockpit. Black, white, amazing. This new weapon you created has just saved the city! And won you that trip to Fiji! 
We are going to Fiji. We are going to Fiji. Are there kids in there? No. No. That was kind of fun, and oh my gosh, we still can't get the helmet off of John. Wow. I don't get it. He can control everything else in town with his mind, but he can't make that stupid thing bigger and take it off. You're kidding, right? He can do that? Well, that was easy. No way! Whoa. This technology is too dangerous for mankind. Uh, so, as a dog, I'll bury it where nobody will ever find it, and it won't bring harm to our fair city again. Roger that, Dookie. We are going to Fiji. We are going to Fiji. You're not going to bury that thing, are you? No. <laughs> I gotta have it. Give it to me. It's too early. We gotta hold out! The last chocolate egg from Easter. The last piece of free candy until Halloween which is three months away. We need more! I have an idea. It's dangerous, but we cannot wait till Halloween for free candy! How did you know we were coming? Because this is always the day you run out of holiday candy. Which is followed by moodiness and crankiness, which you never really recover from until Halloween. And this is also the day you feel bad for us and give us your last pieces of candy. Oh, yeah, right. Here. <laughs> there is just too huge a gap between free candy giving holidays. Observe. Halloween candy lasts until Christmas, which lasts until Valentine's Day, which lasts until the cavity-filled days of Easter. But then, no holidays for six months! Except Independence Day, which is tomorrow. And that's all about fireworks, not candy. But this year, we'll make it about candy. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, no, we won't. We're not interested in any of your flaming harebrained holiday schemes, Johnny. But Independence Day celebrates what makes our country great. And what is that? Candy. Who's always there when you need a friend? Candy! When you're sad, who says, hey, eat me, and you'll feel better? Candy! And tomorrow! Okay, okay, we'll help! <laughs> Free holiday candy? I love you. <laughs> because who doesn't love free chocolate? My sweet sensors are picking up a high concentration of candy that is not honey based. But where? Of course, the test house. Well, there's only one person who can stop this candy from ruining the teeth and physiques of our young people. The beekeeper. <laughs> uh, what do you want now? Somebody's being very bad. Now give me your candy, because kids need healthy treats to eat and... I will be back! Okay. So how do we get this free candy to kids who need free candy? The Turbo Time Tea House? On Christmas Eve, Santa delivers presents to boys and girls. So, on the 4th of July Eve... Presidents will deliver candy! Why not? Now, go spread your free candy cheer to boys and girls everywhere! John! There's no way three old dead dudes are gonna cover the entire Earth in one night. Yeah, but remember, all holidays start out small. He's right. Halloween started in Ireland, and in only two centuries, boom! 
Everyone's getting free candy. <laughs> okay, not promising. How's George doing? But look! Lincoln made it! Maybe using dead old dudes is not the best way to spread free candy. Fine. Time for plan B. You want to create a new holiday? Kids get free candy day. What's, What's the plan this time? People are afraid of old presidents coming into their homes at night. But they're not afraid of a giant pink bunny coming in on Easter. So, on every Kids Get Free Candy Day Eve... The Candy Roo! Leaves chocolate bars by your bed, and you get to eat them for breakfast! <laughs> hmm. We'll need a DNA hair sample from a kangaroo. And purple food color. Okay, its pouch is loaded with candy, and it has a GPS chip with maps of all the homes with kids. Behold my honey blaster, which will neutralize you and your candy. <laughs> okay, Candy Roo, go spread your candy cheer. I think it's time to quit. No, Johnny Test does not give up. Tonight is Kids Get Free Candy Day Eve, and they're gonna. Candy! How? The candy roux only spreads pain, not candy. And we're done inventing! But we don't need to invent anything this time. We've already got a mythical creature that's cuddly and sweet and friendly and can get candy in houses no problem. Huh? What do you say, buddy? Huh? Fine, I'll do it. But only because you called me sweet and cuddly. <laughs> be afraid, test kids. I have returned and the kids get free candy day talking dog and I'm here to spread free candy to you. <laughs> wow! Does it have any nuts in it? Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Bye. I can't eat nuts. No. Here, this doesn't have nuts. Was it made in a factory that has nuts? Yeah. I can't have that either. Okay, take a lollipop. Bye now. Uh, Mommy says those rot teeth. Right, of course. Here, this is sugar free. Now leave me alone. Well, does it have any artificial flavor? I won't eat anything that's artificial. Look, kid. Do you want some free stinking candy or not? Well, what's going on in there? You're the candy ninja. And I don't talk to anyone, and I leave the candy on the doorsteps, and I never go into anyone's house. Happy Kids Get Free Candy Day! That's what kids in Portville are saying, thanks to the Candy Ninja and what seems to be a new holiday. Yeah! But some are calling the whole thing a rip-off. Our client, the Easter Bunny, is hopping mad, and we are suing this Candy Ninja for candy right infringement. And we are confiscating all the candy as evidence. Yeah! Only the Easter Bunny has the right to distribute chocolate while the kids are sleeping. And come on, this guy hits, what, 200 houses in a night? Our client, the Easter Bunny, covers the entire world. This guy's a fraud and will be brought to justice. I just wanted to give out candy! Test kids, this time I will not be made a fool. I can hover to avoid your trap doors and kangaroos, and now it is you who are trapped. Ha! Wait, don't you want to scream? Come on, scream! I worked hard on this! Five! Please! Take their candy! Go on, take it! Who cares? Okay, now I'm really confused. There wasn't a lot to wish for. 
Just a day where kids lacking a free candy holiday in the middle of the year get free candy, right? <laughs> Not much. Oh, can I help? I have lots of candy. Yeah, but the Easter Bunny confiscates everything chocolatey. Well, mine is made of honey. <laughs> yeah, but kids will complain that it's artificial. My piles of honey bar is all natural. Yeah, but we still can't get it all over the world in one night. Or can we? The bees are coming! The bees! And what are they carrying? And today, kids all over the world woke up to be happy day. Because everyone gets three piles of honey bars from swarms of bees. We are protesting this holiday, too. And somebody will pay. No, somebody will be hearing from me. bars aren't as tasty as chocolate bars. But any candy that's free is good candy to me. To be happy day! Yeah!